Centuries ago, a man named Johann Junius, mistakenly believed to be possessed by demons, was burned at the stake. His name became associated with mystic phenomena, and his initials still possess strange powers. Okay, as you saw in the beginning that this trick is all about that story. I told you the backstory of this trick and that man's name is directly related with this trick. So what we need to begin with this trick is obviously a deck of ordinary playing cards as you see. And after that you need to open the deck and, and take out the cards. You know it. Okay. So now what you have to do is as always, as I don't have any spectator in my life, I'm all alone in my room and in my life, I have to shuffle the deck. That means the first part of the trick is the performer is going to give the deck to the spectator and tell the spectator that he can shuffle it as much as he wants. He can shuffle it, he can cut it, anyhow he wants. And just like this, as you see, I'm a master of riffle shuffle. Yeah, I finally mastered it. Anyways, so now what you have to do, the performer now takes the deck from the spectator and shows the other spectators the deck is completely in no order and is completely ordinary. The deck is completely shuffled. It is total fair. Now what the performer has to do is the performer tells the spectator to take out any amount of card they want from the middle of the deck. They can take any amount of card I mean, from the middle of the deck and keep that in their hand and take the rest of the cards right here now what they have to do with the with this amount of card the middle part the cards they took from the middle of the deck they can shuffle the deck totally anyhow they want and now the man's name comes into play do you remember the man's name was johan Junius? so you have to write the initials of the name in the top card so as you see the perfect choice for this trick as i found that i took a red sketch pen for a red deck of playing cards i'm so smart i mean <sighs> anyways so you have to write the initials of the man's name so i'm gonna write here so you can see it oh sorry uh, it, it, it went on there but you can see the initials right here right so anyways now what the spectator has to do is the performer tells the spectator to place this card above the rest of the deck now the performer again hands over the total deck to the spectator and tells the spectator that he can shuffle the playing card as long as they want now what the performer has to do is he is gonna spread the whole deck like this and show the other spectators the faces of the cards and now he tells the spectator that he is, he is gonna take one card from his own free choice and then afterwards you're gonna see what is he is gonna do so he is gonna completely depend upon his free choice and now he is going to take any one card from the whole deck so he is gonna take let's suppose this card and he takes the card and place it on here and he is gonna write again the initials of the haunted name which was Johan Junius and the initial of the name is J so he is gonna write J right here and now what he what is what he's gonna do is he's gonna take the card and place it from where he took now he closes up the whole deck and he again can give the spectator and the spectator again shuffles the deck briefly now what we what the performer tells the spectator is the spectator now has to look towards the card to the card he wrote the initials of the haunted name you remember the card he wrote J on it in the back of the card so he is going to find out where the card is. As you see, the card is lost in completely in the middle of the deck and I'm not able to find it. Okay, let's see where the card is. What the? Is the card disappeared? Oh, he is the card. Uh, coincidentally, it was the last card of the whole deck. Now, coincidentally, again, what happens here is the haunted name gives its magical powers to this card and automatically, I don't know how, the card turns into the card the performer wrote the initials of the haunted name to. So, do you want to learn it? I, 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 I wasted a card to show you this trick, so I think you should learn it. Anyways, the secret is very simple. This trick is named as the haunted name. So, the this trick uh, has a very simple secret, as you know, as I told you. Let's start from the beginning. You are gonna give the deck to the spectator. The spectator shuffles the deck and now the main part comes into play you are gonna have to look 
at the bottom card of the deck, which is in, in this case three of diamonds. Now you again take the deck from the spectator and tell the spectator that he can take any amount of card from the deck from the middle of the deck. So now suppose he takes this amount of cards and now he can shuffle the deck and after shuffling, after he is satisfied by shuffling the deck, he is he has to write the initials of the haunted name which was J on the top card of the packet. So he writes in here the top card of the packet and let's for sake of the trick let's see this card is seven of clubs so remember, remember it seven of clubs now he places it on top and now what the spectator again has to do is the performer tells the spectator to cut the cards as long as they want so the spectator continues cutting the cards and now the trick is completely done now what the performer has the only thing to do is he had to spade the cards oh sorry he has to spade the cards face up so that the initials of the name doesn't show up and you remember that the bottom card as we looked in at the first was three of diamonds so you remember the card right so we have to look for three of diamonds let's look for it together three of diamonds yeah here is the three of diamonds and as you see the top card of the packet which was selected by the spectator is exactly right beside the three of diamonds the selected card, the card the spectator writes his name on, is exactly in the right of the bottom card. So this is the complete secret of it. Now the performer takes the right card of the key card. This card is known as the key card in slate of hand world, as you know, I mean magic world. And he takes the card, he doesn't turn it over because the J will be written on the back of the card. And the J was written by the spectator. So the performer writes the name J, the initials of the haunted name, here. and and places the card anywhere he wants because it doesn't matter and anyways now now the take down the trick is all set up now the only thing he can extend the trick by saying the spectator to cut the cards once again anyhow they any long they want now he has to look for his card on which he wrote the initials of the name the spectator wrote the initials of the name the haunted name which was J so he will find the J and that card will be the card on which the performer also wrote J on the face so this was the whole trick guys i think you liked it and please there is notice that there is a subscribe button down there day by day my subscribe growth is uh, decreasing i don't know how but so please check out the subscribe button it's amazing when you click on it it becomes gray so it's an amazing trick so yep so thanks for stopping by and yeah i could pass please.